Assalomu alaykum hurmatli talabalar. Bugun sizlar bilan O'zbekiston Milliy universiteti xorijiy filologiya fakulteti ingliz filologiya kafedrasi o'qituvchisi Jabbor va Nozma Kamoliddinovni boshlang'ich sinflarda chet til o'qitish metodikasi fanidan ma'ruzamni boshlayman. Ma'ruzaning bugungi mavzusi xorijiy tillarni o'yinchoqlar yordamida o'rgatish. Keling, ma'ruzani ingliz tilida olib borsam. Let's start the lecture. The lecture is about teaching young and primary children with the help of different tools like puppets, toys and other things. And we will discuss about the topics like a selection of the toys, what toys do, toy safety and puppet special friends. I'll give some sample of the puppets during the lecture. Motivation is a key factor in second language acquisition success. In the young learners classroom, motivation can be the triggered by taking under consideration their interest, level, language competence in L1 and L2, designing meaningful tasks with toys and being prepared to act as an actress. All of these kind of things could be the just key factors in second languages acquisition success. And as a teacher, I can say that every teacher has their own tools or boxes and inside these boxes, handy boxes, we have different toys, puppets, hole puncher, construction paper, flash cards, then collection of realia, small animals, all these kind of things could be the handy and ready to use during the lessons. We call it this kind of special box like a teacher's kit and items inside the box. Uh, let's start from the def giving definition to the word toy. Toy comes from old English term that means tool. Uh, just as a pedagogical tool we can use it. Uh, it helps to improve the cognitive and social skills. And with the to tools children are allowed to use their senses, fine and gross motor si skills and their imaginations. Toys are very valuable and helpful pedagogical tool during the teaching lessons. Especially in primary uh, just classes, we will use different types of toys. Before using these toys, we will discuss about selection of toys. How we can select the toys? Make sure that toys are non-toxic material, has then they are durable and washable and you can clean them easily and they can teach the skill or concept of your language and be sure that they are, uh, they are not sharp, uh, they are not uh, sharp and uh, has some uh, just uh, small pieces and this kind of things you can pay attention while choosing toys. How can you use and choose the toys? After choosing toys, these cho uh, toys could help you foster creativity, build skills that lead to reading, writing and seeing beauty in life. Toys could be some kind of construction Legos where items contribute the muscle strength and help child learn about science and number ideas. And uh, toys should be safe and interesting at all. Uh, types of toys. There are different types of toys. Some of them could be soft cuddling. Some of them could be just large motor skill toys and dramatic play toys could be. And we have some requirements to the good toys. Good toys are uh, just proper for child physical capacity. They should be suitable for use of groups of children. They should help the just children to work inside the group or and cooperate with children, appealing and interesting to the child. What toys do? Toys usually just uh, can teach children to figure out how things work, pick up new ideas, use their imagination. They can help uh, or teach the solving problems. They can learn the copyright with other children also. Children always can share their toys and they can just learn playing toys also. Educational toys and tools offer play for cognitive, creative, physical and social emotional development for pupils of primary class. By offering these development materials, educators and teachers can foster a welcoming environment where pupils can learn and just play at the same time. 
uh, not just playing and doing something with toys, we should pay attention to the safety of toys also. Safe toys for young children are well-made toys painted with non-toxic paint and they should easily clean it and washable. Uh, safety of toys. As a teacher, you should always check your toys before giving to the uh, pupil. They shouldn't have that uh, just uh, uh, sharp edges or loose small parts. They shouldn't be damaged or dangerous toys. Try to keep toys intended for older children away from younger children. Such toys may injure younger children. They could have the small parts or pieces and the younger children can just eat this kind of pieces. And toys also divided into just two, uh, three different age groups. Preschool pupils or children usually love painting. That's why the most of their toys are crayons, simple puzzles, paint with large brush, finger paints, dolls, dishes, musical instruments, guitars, or videotapes. And general consideration of these toys, they enjoy parallel and cooperative play. They will engage in activities, imaginative and interested in creating dramatic plays also. They will exchange ideas with others. If you look at the just schoolers age, uh, if toys like yeah, dolls, dolls house, handicrafts, different animals, uh, just puppets, and they could be just uh, suitable for the school ages, it's a primary education, because uh, their main aim to just get the attention, play is more organized and competitive way, uh, and I interesting also, they can collect the, all these things. Adolescent age toys, it's a balls, telephones, radios, easy puzzles, hand puppets, and cutouts. They require the great expenditure of the energy. Pay attention to the special uh, interests. Puppets, we will discuss about puppets. Uh, why puppets useful in primary EFL classroom? How could you use the puppets? Puppets could be used for different aim. You can sing a song together. You can create your stories. You can just uh, have the just play, play the, some role plays during the class. Um, as a teacher, I can say that uh, toys could uh, puppets could be the special friends. For example, like this, you can just give the name to the friend. For example, your name is. Just Lucy. Lucy has a beautiful just clothes. Hi, Lucy. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, guys. And Lucy, today we are talking about special friend. Oh, nice topic talking. I'm also special friend in primary education. And this kind of special friends could help to the class. Um, many teachers use this kind of puppets during the just primary children teaching lessons. We can describe puppets live, we can tell the stories, fairy tales, and we can bring the joy to the class with the help of special friends. And we can give them different uh, names, number of characters who have special personalities, for example, Uzbek fairy tale, just uh, characters or some foreign fairy tale characters. It's important to consider the age of young learners when we use special friends. Usually at the age of seven, eight, nine, they can just play with this kind of puppets, but at the age of uh, 10, 11, for these classes, they usually more pretend to uh, play with uh, realistic character uh, toys, like uh, from their computer games or uh, different things. This is the end of the lecture. Uh, try to work with toys with children. It's very interesting, uh, just working in primary education. Try to work with different tools, pedagogical tools. Not only toys, it could be fairy tales, it could be songs and different kind of designed materials. And all these reference books also could help you just uh, 
to use uh, this kind of tools in your classroom. This is the end of the lecture. Thank you very much for attention. And there is an email address. If you have any questions, you may write to my email. I'm ready to answer you. Okay. Goodbye.